What's up, Dismaniacs? Zach here with Team Dismania and owner of Rotor Disc Golf Supply. Our black mystery box finally arrived. Uh, actually, we got a couple. So we're gonna dive into this one and see what's inside. Uh, if you're not sure what the black mystery box is, it is the final mystery box of the season that drops right around, I think it's like the day after Christmas on the 26th. So the red mystery box came before it. Uh, if you haven't watched that, you can go watch the unboxing of that one. Uh, the black one has the CD1 in it. It's uh, advertised with the box when you get it, but everything else is a mystery. So we're gonna dive into this together. Let's see, so they taped this one up. Extra special on all sides. All right. Let me go this way with it so I'm not blocking you guys. All right, so first things up is a 20% off coupon code. Uh, this comes in all the boxes. So uh, I have a few from these boxes that we'll have, and I have a couple left over from the red boxes. So uh, comment below, and uh, we're gonna go with your favorite memory of Simon. Uh, he's left Team Dismania. His loss is felt by all, and we're super excited for him to move on with MVP and see what he does there. He's not gone. So uh, comment with your favorite Simon memory, and uh, we're gonna pick some winners through these 20% off coupon codes and get these out because they expire in the end of February. So one more month, we're gonna get these out. So first up, the X out, every box has an X out in it. This is pretty sweet. I like this new X out stamp. It's like a, uh, what is this? Oh no, the X-Men uh, mutant stamp kind of looking thing on it. This is, this is pretty cool. So this is on an Iron Samurai 4. It is Eagle's last signature disc of the year. The Iron Samurai 4, I swear, if I got a micrometer on it, it's a little bit deeper than the regular MD3's. Stipper feel and the chroma plastic. These things are fast out of the hand, a little bit more stable, and they hold their stability a little bit longer. If you get these things beat up, this is the best flying MD3 I've had in my bag since the Crown Eagle Glow MD3's that are like $50 plus, dollars, and that's for a really beat up one. So get yourself an Iron Samurai 4 at dismania.net or at rotordiscsupply.com. These things are amazing. You definitely need to try one of these out. Next up, we have a Flex 3 P2 in the D-line plastic. This is the base plastic. The Flex 3 is the stiffest. There's also a Flex 2 that's a medium stiffness and then a Flex 1 that's the softest. Uh, me personally, I'm a fan of the stiffer plastics. I like the confidence it gives me in the hand to really dig in and grip it hard and firm uh, without squishing the plastic down too much. Uh, so Flex 3, really good for the summer, especially here in Alabama where it gets 100 plus degrees in the summer. Uh, Flex 2s are what I'm gonna be using in the winter. And uh, I just switched back to the P2s and I got my hands on some Flex 3s with the Halloween run. I was putting with Rainmakers. They're amazing, a little bit shallower if you think the P2s are a little too deep for you. Pretty much the same flight. Uh, just the confidence I have with the stability of the P2 to put it hard and it's not gonna turn on me. Uh, just loving the P2s again. Next up, this is a DD3. Yeah, Color Glow Sea Line DD3. This stamp is sick. It looks similar to, am I holding it upside down? Nope. It's right side up. Uh, looks similar to the one on the Color Glow FDs from the red box. Uh, pretty good feel. It's flat, really flat. Uh, we had a couple of the flatter C lines. Uh, just a little gummier, tackier feel than the regular C line plastic in this glow. I bet this is going to be a little less stable than the C lines, but we'll definitely have to check this out. This thing's pretty sweet. Oh, I've seen these. Okay, check this out. This is a. Uh, super clean bar stamp with the Neo Mutant. The Mutant is very uh, Justice-like from the DD lineup. Uh, there's no round edges on it. It's basically, if you 3D printed a disc with uh, where you couldn't do round edges, it would be like this. But it's not 3D printed. These things are insanely overstable, but the Neo Plastic beats up relatively quickly and then just kind of holds for a long time after you get it beat in. And once you get a mutant beat in, if you can be patient with it, these things are absolute money discs for getting out of jail. This thing is sick with a dark purple and it's kind of like a metallic blue chrome type stamp on it. Just super clean bar stamp. 
Uh, I've done those with some of my other discs and just wiping the rest of the stamp, just get this look. And this is just from the factory like that. That's super clean. Next up is a Sensei in the active baseline plastic. It's got a, the other one has like kind of a uh, rice paddy Chinese hat kind of thing on. And now it's a pirate man kind of meditating. So nice little change up. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, his whole outfit's a pirate. That's pretty cool. Uh, dark gray plastic. I haven't seen this yet. Uh, I think there's also some black ones that come in the box. Uh, but the Sensei is a great shallow putter. The baseline plastic is softer. So if you're looking for a soft, shallow, really straight putter for putting or throwing, uh, it's a little more square on the edge. It feels great for forehands, great for backhands, dead straight, great putter if you're looking for something shallow, especially if you have smaller hands uh, and you're just looking for something really straight and fast. This is a splice, has to be, or tilt. Splice, this is pretty cool. I didn't know these existed. This is a Vapor Lux on the Splice. Splice is a super, super overstable fairway. Uh, similar to the Tilt, board flat on top, pretty much uh, really common feel, uh, just right in the hand, feels amazing. But they're insanely overstable, great utility disc though. Uh, you can chop it on a flex and it will come out, but it's smooth. Uh, really predictable in the rate that it comes out of any forced over any. Uh, so you just, you know exactly where it's going to break because it fades the whole time in a constant rate. Uh, even though it's really overstable, it doesn't go very far. I definitely recommend giving these a try for just when you need those shots that hook to the right or hook to the left and you need to know where it's going to break. They're really predictable because of that constant fade rate. Next up, we got a Glow Rockstar. These things feel really good. The Glow Premium in the Active Line Plastic, I found, just has like an extra premium feel to it over just like the regular Active Line Premium. And it's much flatter than the like just regular stock run of the Premium Rockstars. This is a 8.5 minus 2.1. So slightly understable, good glide. It feels very similar to maybe like a T-Bird Instinct uh, FD kind of feel, but like a deeper rim. So if you're looking for something that's just slightly deeper grip, uh, you can try and check out the premium Rockstar, especially in the glow class, that feels really good. Oh, here we go. A FD, also X out. These are really great discs if you're looking to just kind of get into a uh, beginner fairway all the way to advanced level players. These highs are flipped to flat. Insane, insane glide. These go so far. Uh, comparable to the CD1 that should be next, I believe. Uh, just a little bit slower. Great fairway if you're looking for something straight with a little bit of hyzer flip and turn. So this is an awesome new addition I've seen with the mystery boxes this year. The collector's guide shows you everything that you could have gotten in your box kind of tease you to get another one. I definitely recommend getting multiple because nothing's more fun than diving into a mystery box. So definitely give this a look through. I'll post some pictures of this so you guys can see what all comes in the mystery box if you're curious. I'm sure there's probably a couple out there. Once you get to the end, there's a secret flap at the bottom. Flips up and we have the Crush Boys CD1. This thing is amazing. Super pumped to try this out. I'm a huge fan of the CD2, and this is basically the CD2, it's just renamed the CD1. The rim feels great. A little bit deeper than I remember CD2's feeling. I should have grabbed one to compare it to since I knew this was in here. But yeah, just absolutely great feeling. Just the perfect depth, slight dome. The wing feels a little more aggressive than a CD2, kind of similar concave shape to the uh, last run of the Clawbreaker 1s. So I bet this is going to be a little bit of turn. The aggressive wing still gets some fade on it and just insane glide with this little bit of dome it's got. So super pumped to try these out. I'm going to open up these other boxes, take one of these to the field, and uh, we'll do a video on these, show you kind of how they compare to the old Innova run of the CD2. So stay tuned, check it out, comment below for a chance to get a 20% off coupon.
Uh, grab your mystery box at dismedia.net. If you get the red and black combo, you get 10% off uh, the combo pack. So it's a little bit cheaper. You can get both, get the CD1 and the DD1. I'm gonna do a video of comparing the DD1 also with the Cloudbreaker, the Enigma, and the Paradigm uh, new disc coming out sometime this year. It's a fantastic feeling distance driver as well. So grab yourself a box, keep the box. There's also some extra goodies in here. We got a sweet Crush Boys sticker, a sweet mystery box pen, and these little Swedish candies that I'm really enjoying. Uh, I don't really know how to describe how they taste, but try them out, they're amazing. Uh, and if you didn't know, the box doubles down as a great way to store your discs. Uh, double walled, holds up, and uh, keep your favorite disc safe for a long time. So thanks for checking out the mystery box. Grab your own at dismedia.net, and we'll see you guys next time.